today i am going to give the lecture on dns messages and records and let's see the learning outcomes at the end of this session students will be able to explain the types of dns messages students will be able to explain the types of dns records these are the two topics i am going to explain in this lecture that the dns messages dns records okay dns has two types of messages that are query message and response message both query message and response message have a same format and the query message consisting of header and question records and the response message consisting of header question records answer records authoritative records and additional records that i have represented through diagrammatically here this dns query and response messages both query and response messages have a same header format and question section okay in the response messages have a answer session authoritative session and additional session now let us see one by one in detail okay query messages header format both query and response uh, response messages have a same header format with uh, field set to some field set to zero for query messages this header field is 12 bytes okay identification and flags identification the number of question records and then number of answer records the number of authoritative records and number of additional records here i have mentioned the number of question record is there in uh, identification and the number of answer records in bracket i have written all zeros in query message it means it is not present in a query okay it is only present in uh, response message uh, response message okay the number of authoritative records here all zeros in query it means it is not present in query okay all zeros in query message it means it is not present in that okay now let us see identification it is 16 bit field used by the client to match the response with query message okay flags it is a 16 bit field consisting of eight sub fields that are qr up code aa tc rd ra three zeros and r codes okay let us see one by one in detail what is qr qr is a query and response it is a one bit field that defines a two types of messages okay if it is zero it is type query if it is one it is a type of responses okay of code it is a four bit field or one bit field sub field that defines the type of query or responses okay a zero standard one is inverse to server status request okay aa authoritative answer it is a one bit sub field when it set to one the name server is an authoritative server it is used only in a response messages next one is tc truncated a one bit sub field when it is set to one it means that the response was more than 512 bytes and truncated to 512 okay already recursive desired one bit sub field when it is set to one it means that client desires recursive answer okay or a recursion desired a one bit sub field it is set to set only in the response messages reserved three bit sub field set to three zeros okay r codes this is a four bit sub field that shows the status of error in the response messages here values and meaning if it is contain zero no error one format error if it is two then problem at name server then if it is three do domain reference problem four query type not supported 5 and then 6 to 15 this result okay next number of question records here yeah, the number of question records it is a 16 bit sub field it can contains a number of questions okay one or more questions and then number of answer records it is also 16 bit sub field it can contains the number of answer records okay then authoritative it is also 16 bit field it can contains the one or more authoritative answer records okay 
एडिशनल इट इज ऑल्सो सिक्सटीन बिट्स ऑफ फील्ड इट कैन कंटेन्स द वन आर मोर एडिशनल रिकॉर्ड्स ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज रिस्पॉन्स मैसेजेस द रिस्पॉन्स मैसेज कंटेन्स द क्वेश्चन सेक्शन एंड आंसर सेक्शन ओके दिस इज अ सेक्शन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ वन आर मोर रिकॉर्ड्स इट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन बोथ क्वेरी एज वेल एज रिस्पॉन्स मैसेजेस ओके सेकेंड वन इज आंसर सेक्शन इन द आंसर सेक्शन इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ वन आर मोर रिसोर्स रिकॉर्ड्स इट इज प्रेजेंट ओनली ऑन रिस्पॉन्स मैसेजेस दिस सेक्शन इंक्लूड्स द आंसर फ्रॉम द सर्वर टू द क्लाइंट ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज ऑथोरिटेटिव सेक्शन ओके दिस इज दिस सेक्शन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ वन आर मोर रिसोर्स रिकॉर्ड इट इज प्रेजेंट ओनली ऑन रिस्पॉन्स मैसेजेस इन द सेकेंड स्लाइड वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट दीज थिंग्स के एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन सेक्शन इट इज प्रेजेंट ओनली ऑन रिस्पॉन्स मैसेजेस दिस सेक्शन प्रोवाइड्स अ एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट मे हेल्प द यूजर इफ द यूजर वॉन्ट टू कीप सम सेंसिटिव इन्फॉर्मेशन आर सम अदर इन्फॉर्मेशन इन द मैसेज देन दैट टाइम दे कैन गो टू दिस एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन सेक्शन ओके नेक्स्ट थिंक कैंड राइट ड्रा एंड दिस इट कैन कंटेन्स वन क्वेश्चन दैट इज ड्रा एंड एक्सप्लेन द डी एन एस क्वेश्चन रिकॉर्ड फॉर्मेट नो पास द वीडियो एंड आंसर द अब क्वेश्चन Now let us see the answer for this question. DNS question record format. Okay, this is a DNS question record format. It can contains three fields that are query name, query type, and query class. Okay, query name. This is a variable length field consisting of domain name. There are so many domain names we have discussed in the last lecture. It may contain any one of the domain name. Second one is query type. This is a sixteen bit field defining the type of query it means it may be the question type or it may be the answer type and what are the different types we have to identify in this one type of query okay query query class okay this is a 16 bit field defining the specific protocol using dns it means it may be the internet protocol or i n i internet network and which type of class and then we have to mention in this query Next one is question records and resource record. DNS records. There are two types of records are there that are question record and resource record. First one is question record. The previous slide we have discussed about the question record. The question record is used by the client to get the information from the server. This contains the domain name. There are so many domain name we have discussed in the previous slide that are dot edu, dot org, dot com, the dot mil like this. There are so many domains are there. Any one domain it can contains. Okay. Now DNS records. Okay. Resource record. Each domain name, each domain name, and the tree is associated with record called the resource record. The server database consisting of resource record. That is, this is a block diagram for the resource record. It can contains so many sub fields that are domain name, domain type, domain class. Time to live and then resource data length, resource data. Okay, let us see one by one in detail. Okay, first one is domain name. Okay, first one is domain name. This is a variable length field consisting the domain name. It is a duplication of the domain name in the question record. We have already discussed in the last uh, last slide. It is question record. Okay, domain name we have to And then domain type. Okay, this second one is the domain type. This field is the same as the query type field in the question record, except the last two types are not allowed in this one. Okay, domain class. This field is the same as query class field in the question record. Okay, time to live. This is a thirty-two bit field that defines the number of seconds. The answer is valid. The server can catch the answer for this period of time. After sending the question to the server, 
and how many seconds the question is live in the server side after getting the acknowledgement from the server the client can in the client side also how many seconds the response is live in the server side client side okay resource data length this is a 16 bit field defining the length of the resource data it means if the user have some data then what is the length of the user data we have to measure in this field that is resource data length okay next one is resource data this is a variable length field containing the answer to the user it means whatever the user want to forward the data the user can keep all the data in the resource data field it is we won't mention the size of the data because it is variable length it may be the less or it may be the high okay this data the user can forward it to the user okay these are the references i have referred for preparing the above ppt okay thank you